Hey everybody, Ian here with Redline to show you our new REPP70 pressure pot sandblast cabinet. Uh, this is a Gen 2 cabinet that's got a lot of upgrades over our Gen 1 cabinet. Obviously, it's got a giant clamshell door on the front of this thing. It opens up out of the way and gives you this great big open area to be able to load items into the cabinet. Uh, clamshells are really nice in that you can take a forklift and just set things right in the front of the cabinet. There's none of this trying to squeeze it through a little side door and that kind of thing. So, great feature on this cabinet. Obviously, it's a pressure pot cabinet. Down below, we've got a pressure pot. What is that? Well, there's two types of blast cabinets, really. You have siphon and pressure pot. Siphon just kind of sucks the media out of a, a, a basin down in the bottom and adds a little air to it and hopes for the best. Uh, this thing here is kind of like supercharging it. It's like taking your media, adding it inside of your air compressor, and then firing it out of a tube with a lot more force. So you're going to do a lot more blasting, a lot quicker with a pressure pot cabinet. Uh, you're going to need a lot more CFM, so be expecting that you're going to need a massive air compressor if you're wanting to operate, operate this thing continually. Uh, let's talk about the vacuum over on the side of it. Have a look at the difference in size between the old vacuum assembly that was on the first gen PP70 versus the new. Way, way bigger. Up top, we've got a very large 400 CFM vacuum motor. Open the door to expose the air filter inside, and you'll find probably one of the largest air filters you'll ever see. Down below is a pull-out drawer that collects any dust that doesn't stick to the filter. On the back side of the reclaimer, you'll find a basin that collects everything in a bucket for you. Inside the cabinet, we've got six LED lights that do a great job of lighting up the inside of the cabinet, so there's lots of light to see your workpiece. One of the big upgrades we made on the Gen 2 PP70 is the mixing valve down in the bottom. Have a look at the difference here. The, the new valve versus the old valve is just a huge size difference. The new ones are way larger. A lot of folks want to know how do these pressure pot cabinets work. And the answer is it's simple. You step on the foot pedal, it operates an electromagnetic valve on the back side of the cabinet that opens and closes a mushroom valve. That in turn allows media to flow from the funnel down into the canister, at which time it pressurizes the canister with air, and then you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and load some medium grit crushed glass into our REPP70. Here I've got a set of old rusty door hinges from our 1967 Redline Nova build. Be sure to check that out on YouTube. Got a lot of cool videos there. So let's take these old rusty hinges and make them look new again. Okay, everybody, that's been our Redline REPP70 second gen Redline pressure pot blasting cabinet. Uh, you can get it on our website, redlinestands.com. Today we cleaned up the door hinges to our 67 Nova build that's also on YouTube. Got these things looking brand new again. They really look fantastic, right down to the bare metal. Uh, be sure to give us a shout if you got any questions, 901-351-4764, extension 1 for the first available salesman. Also, be sure to click the subscribe button down below, follow us on YouTube, and as always, appreciate you taking the time to watch.